Hi guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the various camouflage uniforms of the country of South Korea. Now this is an approximate evolution of the camouflage uniforms they used from the year 1948 to the present day. Now we're going to be starting with this uniform here in the middle, which is actually not camouflage, but it's one of the first uniforms that they adopted all the way back in 1948. Now, as you can see, it's just a simple olive drab uniform, nothing special here. The material is HBT, herringbone twill, and this was used from approximately 1948 to uh, 1990 when everyone was issued Tonghab, which is basically the uh, South Korean take on US woodland uh, camouflage. However, some special units were issued what is basically a version of the US Duck Hunter camouflage. And the picture is not really showing it well, but this is kind of has a green uh, hue to it. That's because this is not one of the original uh, Duck Hunter uniforms, which would have been used by the Marine Corps and the Special Forces during the Vietnam War. Um, this is one of the later ones that was used by the uh, like high school reservists. Um, so they kind of recycled that, that pattern. But this pair of pants, as you can see, this one's uh doesn't have like the greenish hue here has more of like a just kind of brownish hue and this is a hbt fabric this one looks more like what a, an original one would have looked like in the vietnam war so now we've established the uh rok marine corps they have you know camouflage uniforms way before the regular armed forces now taking a look at this pattern on the right this is called the um, leopard or jigsaw or puzzle camouflage kind of looks a little bit like US ERDL but it's definitely very unique in the fact that it's a completely unique pattern and this was only used for a few years in the the 70s I believe from uh, either the mid 70s to 1977 um, from what I've read on Camopedia but like I said or I haven't mentioned this before but I will be taking a look at each of these uniforms individually in you know, future videos. So right off the bat, we have this, you know, these first three here, early ones used in uh, Vietnam War in the 60s by the Marine Corps and the uh, Special Forces. This was just worn by regular units. It's just a regular olive drab uniform. And this was used by the Marine Corps from like the mid 70s to 1977. And now we're going to see what they were using after that. So this is commonly referred to as turtle shell. And you can see it's kind of like a more geometric based pattern. You know, we have a lot more lines, less swirls, uh, bigger swaths of color. This particular piece right here is a commercial M65 jacket. So this would not have been issued. This is a private purchase. Um, yeah. But... These pants down below are actual genuine issued pants. And there are a few different variations in this pattern. Mainly the only difference being that some patterns have this like little line in between the colors, but some of them don't. And they just have the colors, you know, meshing against each other. But yeah, we'll be taking a look at uh, that piece. So this was issued uh, all the way from like 1978 to the year 2010, when I mentioned previously, everyone switched to this uniform right here. So this was used in the 80s and mainly like the 80s, late 70s, 80s, and then 1990 hit, everyone switched to this. In the middle here, what we're gonna find is a unique uh, desert version. So this was used, you know, when Korea deployed troops overseas to Iraq and I believe Afghanistan as well. So basically what this is, it's just the Tonghab uniform recolored into desert colors. And before this, they actually used, I'm just taking a piece here, US chocolate chip camo, but obviously that would have been locally produced. Um, it was identical, although you would have seen this Korea patch on it. I've seen a few pieces like that. I don't currently own one myself. So this was used for about um, you know, 2004 introduced to like 2008, 
So it's another cool piece of uh, history we got here. And uh, after this, like I mentioned this, so this was introduced in 1990, everyone switched to that. But before this, um, some of the armed forces, not the Marine Corps, wore a different version of woodland, except it had, you know, varying colors. Um, it was pretty interesting. I don't have a piece like that, but if you want to see one, you can look it up on Camopedia. And after, you know, throughout the 90s, um, in 2010, everything changed. And um, the regular armed forces got a new pattern called Granite B, which is this. So it's a digital pattern. So this is the first digital pattern introduced in 2010. And this is just a lightweight field shirt that they have. Um, the pattern itself is pretty, pretty cool. You got like this, you know, like almost pinkish color. You've got this, you know, green, black, dark brown. There's a lot of different cool colors on here and I'll definitely make a video showing off a few of these uniforms because it's just a really great digital camouflage pattern and the uniforms themselves are constructed very nicely, very great features and very well made. Now, when the regular armed forces were getting issued this uniform, the Marine Corps was getting their own digital camouflage uniform, but instead they were getting a version called Wave Pat. So with Wave Pat, you have more of a horizontal camouflage pattern, you know, left to right, as you can see. Um, not as many colors and the pixels are just slightly bigger, but not by much. And this is a Wave Pat rain jacket. And uh, this particular version not sure exactly when it was issued, but I'll make a video on this as well. And then the newest piece that I have is this uh, ROK, Marie, uh, not Marines, uh, Navy. And this was introduced, this camouflage pattern was introduced in the year 2021. So this is a very new uh, uniform. And on the tags here, you can actually see it was made in 2021. And I was uh, recording this video, it's only 2023. So this uniform is only two years old. And you can already tell it's heavily worn. Uh, this part is like pretty stained. Um, so yeah, pretty cool piece. Definitely really neat. And it's uh, just, you know, another pixelated, you know, digital camouflage uniform, primarily blue colors with, uh, you know, the insignia every once in a while throughout. And then there's two other patterns I wanted to talk about that are non-military issue. Right here we have a National Forest Service, uh, South Korean, uh, like lizard stripe camouflage uniform. So this is not army. This is worn by the Forest Service. And this is a really cool piece. And you'll see, you know, this patch here. And this will definitely make a good video because it almost looks like it has little bits of like DPM added in. And then this one, another one of my favorites, this is what they issue uh, or I don't know if they still have this program, but they had a military education program for high schoolers. And this is like a zebra pattern that was pretty popularly issued. And this comes in many different variations, but this is a pretty common version. You'll see, you know, white and black with these, you know, um, kind of like noodly little uh, patterns. And uh, yeah, so just going back again, olive drab, Duck Hunter, reintroduced in like reservist and high school training. Got this noodle pattern briefly worn in the 70s. Then we switched to turtle shell. Watch out for fakes. There's a lot of commercial ver variants. This is a very uh, popular uh, fashion camo. So there's a lot of commercial versions of this uniform. Then we have this specially made desert uniform worn from like 2004 to 2008, replaced with a newer uh, digital um, a desert uniform that we have tong hab this one is a later one produced in 2010 so like the last year that they made this it is in the ripstop pattern but before it was you know a different fabric material this only came later then we got our granite b our wave pat and our navy pat that's just what i'm going to call it and then we got our other two uniforms so thanks for watching guys i am going to make I am eventually going to get around to making a video on each of these different uh, camouflage uniforms. I just wanted to drop this video so you guys would be aware. You know, I'm going to be dropping a lot of content on uh, South Korea. But basically the reason why I have all this is because I had a source in Vietnam 
and a lot of South Korean stuff pops up in Vietnam and he was able to get me all of this. So thank you, Tung and Co. And apparently South Korea is just really freely, you know, they have a lot of surplus. They have a pretty big military, but even, you know, you can get the really older stuff still pops up. So if you really want some of this stuff, just let me know and we can make uh, some arrangements. But also if you want more stuff, I can get you in contact with one of the people who can, you know, get you this stuff. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this brief video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Like and subscribe.